Today I'm going to go over the source code for my planetary motion program. And uh, the program is attempting to simulate one body orbiting another body. Now keep in mind that this is not 100% accurate. I am pretty sure I have made some mistakes there, but the orbit looks fairly realistic. Now, um, for this tutorial, I'm going to assume that you know some basic things about physics and uh, Allegro. So, some of the more basic things I'm just going to go over quickly. Now, the first thing you want to do is to include math.h. Now, as you can see, I have a lot of variables. I have them as type double, but if you want, you can uh, have them as type float. Now, the first thing I have is G, which stands for the universal gravity constant, and that's the value. Then I have a variable for the change in time, the x position of the sun, y position of the sun, x position of the earth, y position of the earth. I have variables for the x component of velocity, y component of velocity, y component of acceleration, and x component of acceleration. And all of these pertain to the earth. Then I have a variable for the mass of the Earth and mass of the Sun. Um, here I have a variable called angle radiance. It stands for the um, angle between the Earth and the Sun. Here I have a function uh, called draw stuff. The purpose of this function is to draw the Earth and the Sun. So. Um, as you can see uh, here, I'm drawing the Earth. It has a radius of 3. Here I'm drawing the Sun. It has a radius of 10. And then here I'm telling it to draw everything to the buffer. And this is my main. And these are all things you would put in virtually any Allegro program you're writing. Down here I have even more variables. I have dx and dy, which um, are the which gonna hold the values for the change and the distance between the Earth and the Sun. Dx is holding the change in distance between the x position of the Sun and the Earth, and dy is holding the change in distance between the y position of the Earth and the Sun. Capital D uh, stands for the distance between the Earth and the Sun and A stands for the acceleration of the Earth. Here I am initializing the X component of the velocity of the Earth and here I am initializing the Y component of the velocity of the Earth. Here I am calling my draw stuff function and then here I am calculating DX and DY dx is the x position of the sun minus the earth position of the earth and dy is the y position of the sun minus the earth the y position of the earth and then this d like i said stands for the distance between the earth and the sun and i'm using the distance formula to find that this is uh this is an essentially um dx squared plus dy squared and then I take the square root of it and this is how you uh, square something in uh, C++ this is what you're squaring and then the 2 is saying that you're squaring it and angle radiance this is where I'm calculating the angle between the earth and the sun and this is how you would do it with uh, C++. So this is how I'm finding the angle. If you can imagine a coordinate system, the sun here is at 0, 0, and then this is the earth right here. So by subtracting the y position of the sun and to the y position of the earth, I am finding this side here, A. And then by subtracting the x position of the sun to the x position of the earth I'm finding this side B and then I can use tangent tangent is opposite side over adjacent so by having A over B I can find the the angle here 
keep in mind that um, this angle right here is the same as this angle. So by finding this angle, I'm, fi I'm also finding this angle. Here I am um, uh, finding the acceleration according to Kepler's law. So it's the gravitational constant times mass of the Earth divided by the distance between the Earth and the Sun squared. And then as you know from physics, if you have the acceleration to find the components, you just have to take the cosine and sine, cosine or sine of the angles, depending on if you want to find the x component or the y component. And then here I am using the kinematic formulas, and as you can remember, kinematic formulas is v, uh, the velocity final equals velocity initial times the acceleration times the change in time. Position final equals position initial times the change in time plus one half acceleration times the change in time squared. Now in this portion here I am not including um, this half of the equation. I don't exactly remember why I didn't but um, not including it uh, makes the motion work very well for me. And that's pretty much it. If you have any questions, leave me a comment and uh, I'll see what I can do. But um, if you like this, um, like it, share it, um, subscribe if you want. I have more videos like this. So um, that's it.